Now, with WP Affiliate Platform all set up, let's test to make sure clicks and sales are tracking. You will first need to integrate your e-commerce solution with WP Affiliate Platform. There are several tutorials on the Tips and Tricks HQ website for many integration methods. WP eStore is a common native solution that you can use. In my example, I'll be using a standard PayPal Buy Now button. I just needed to add a short code to PayPal's button code so that WP Affiliate Platform can add specific form data for the integration. Okay, when ready, let's get into the affiliate dashboard for the test affiliate account we created in a previous video. If you don't have a test affiliate account, you can create one now by going to WP Affiliate, then add Edit Affiliates. To get the affiliate login URL, go to WP Affiliate, then Settings. If you triple click the URL, it'll highlight, then you can copy and paste it into the browser. In the Affiliate Stats Overview section, we can see that there are currently no clicks, sales, or commissions. We will come back to that section after the test purchase. Also in the Affiliate Dashboard, you will see the default affiliate link. If we use that one, we will land at the default landing page that was set earlier in the general settings area of WP Affiliate Platform. For this test though, we will go right to a product link. Click on ads from across the top of the page. Now within the HTML for one of the ads, we can see the URL. Let's copy that out. You can see the tracking ID appended to the URL. Now visit that URL. Make a purchase. Now recheck the stats to show that the sale was in fact tracked. 